In this equation, we have aluminum nitrate and sodium phosphate. So to balance this equation, we're going to use a little bit of a trick that will make it a lot easier. So let's try this. We have one aluminum, and then this NO3 group, it stays together. We have NO3 here, and we have it again here. It's called the nitrate ion. So we're going to say we have one NO3 times this three, so three nitrate ions. And that's going to make it easy because we won't have to keep counting all these oxygen atoms throughout the equation. We have three sodium, and then we have PO4 here and here. It's called the phosphate ion. We're going to say we have one of those. On the product side, one aluminum, one nitrate, one sodium, and then just one phosphate. So we've got it all set up here, and we can see pretty clearly right now that if we put a coefficient of three in front of the sodium nitrate, we have one times three for the sodium. That gives us three of those. And then for the nitrate, we have the one times the three. That gives us three of those. And we're done. This equation is balanced. So you can see how that helps. When we consider the nitrate as just one thing, if it stays together, we have it on both sides. The phosphate, it stayed together. We have it on both sides. We can count it as just one thing. And that makes the balancing a lot easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Al. NO3-3 plus Na3PO4, aluminum nitrate plus sodium phosphate. Thanks for watching.